so I'm gonna get started on my front porch makeover today and I have my gallon of paint and my brushes and I am going to start first by repainting all this rough looking porch rail and move from there I have a beautiful wreath coming today I think it's coming today it's coming soon it shipped from Joanne and then I have a DIY welcome sign project that I'm going to be working on so let's get started I know that I haven't been who I was I am supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I want you to my progress so far I think I've been out here about an hour I don't have this side of the rails painted yet but I have the tops completed I don't have this front post but I have this one done and I have oh, this side I have the uh, that big post and the outside of the riser and these rails. I don't have the tops of those rails done yet, but after about an hour, I'm only this far into it. So this actually is a small porch, but it's turned out to be a pretty big painting job. Okay, so I've been out here for about three hours and now I'm definitely going to have to take a break. One, because the sun is right down on top of me and my paint is drying way too fast and I just can't really work with it. It's so difficult, but I got all the bottom, everything, the bottom, the poles, the trim, the railing, the risers, the banister. Um, I couldn't get to the top of these and underneath, so I'll have to do that when I go back up stairs and start coming down, painting the inside of the railing. But, so I got this pole and the riser and all these bottom trim pieces, the rails done. I have both the banisters painted and then this other side so I'm pretty sweaty and covered in paint so I think if I go in and clean up I'm probably not coming back outside to paint today so which is just as well because it's really hot and sunny so the sun is drying the paint out way too fast to make it really hard to work plus i've been out here for about three hours and i didn't put kai in her crate and the idea of a bored husky unsupervised in the house for three hours i'm actually kind of afraid to go in the house and see what i've got but 
this is all of the painting for today. Huh, but it was a lot. I got a lot done. Uh, I thought this was a little porch and a little project, but I sure was mistaking that. <laughs> I'm going to get started right now working on my DIY welcome sign for the front porch. Uh, we picked up this piece of wood. It's just a one by six, and um, we found it at home. No, we got it at Lowe's, and it was only like $3 and some change. Henry went ahead and stained it for me, and I have took the tape measure here and measured the center of the board and then measured its center long ways and in the width. I've taped down my first letter and I'm gonna start stenciling this and then I'm just gonna build my welcome sign. very first letter on and I'm gonna need to let that dry just so that I don't mess it up and then I'm gonna start taping the rest of the uh, letters up above it and then below it okay so I've got all of my letters on except for the last E and that's just because there's two E's in welcome and I already have the first one taped down. But the first thing I figured out is my board is a one by six. And these are the stencils that we picked up at Hobby Lobby last week. And unfortunately, all of the W is not going to fit. So this is the end of my board. This is the rest of the W. And unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to sacrifice it because I've already started this project and I don't want to go invest in more stencils since I just bought these last week. I'm just going to move it center enough so that I can get this part of the W and then the little loop will just not be on there. And the M barely fit. It's on there, but it's, it's going to take up the whole space. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these letters and then I will bring the E down and finish it up with the E. Okay, so all of the letters done. And of course I did get a little paint on the table, but I'm not worried about that because we're actually going to repaint the table anyway. So I'm just gonna let these dry enough to peel them off and then we'll see what the final result looks like. Okay, so full disclosure, I never claim to be a professional stencil. Or, um, I think I might have got a little aggressive and got under my stencil in a few spaces but honestly we looked at some of these signs at Hobby Lobby and they're like $50 even 50% off they were $25 we had the paint here the white paint we had the gray stain here we have $3.50 in the piece of wood. I bought a $2.99 stencil brush, which is something that I can have forever to do 
other projects with and I bought the stencils which were like I don't know three three maybe four dollars so for roughly about ten bucks DIY I'm okay with this really the W is the one where I got a little crazy but honestly from a distance it's not that big of a deal and for my first DIY project and trying to stencil my own I'm okay with it I really actually am just quite okay with it so I think it turned out all right I'm not hating on it and I'm not mad at it so and it's gonna look good when I finish painting the the rails of the porch I got the top part painted and I have a wreath coming from Joann's that I'll hang on the door and I think I've decided I may go ahead and actually paint the floor of the porch and the steps so just really brighten the whole thing up but this is how the little DIY welcome sign turned out so there that's not a, it's not a total disaster I kind of like it and I did that all by myself well Henry stained the wood so it was it was a group project okay so I have it all painted and I actually wound up doing the porch and the steps um, it kind of started out as an accident but I ain't even mad at it the wood was so weathered and looked rough anyway and it definitely needed something so I can't go out on it right now I have to let it cure for at least four hours and it's starting to get a little cloudy so I'm definitely hoping that the rain holds off until the paint can properly cure but it took me about two hours this morning to completely finish everything and this is a view from down in front which is pretty far down actually there's my little ferns I don't have them hung back up yet because again I'm waiting on all the paint to cure because I did have to finish some on this outside but I really don't hate it at all it definitely looks so much cleaner and so much nicer now and the thing with the porch and the steps when I was painting the trim and the railing I found that there was a lot of paint stains from when I guess they were originally painted and of course I dropped paint spots on the steps and the porch myself as I was painting since the wood was so weathered and looked like it really needed to be replaced I just kind of thought I might as well paint the porch and the steps too now Henry wanted to do the porch and the steps in black to match the door and we probably will do that but since this white paint has kills in it and it's supposed to guard against mold and mildew and the green algae which this porch had so much of the green algae um, we thought I would just go ahead and paint the porch and the steps now and then we'll get some black paint and just go back over the floor of the porch and just the steps and leave everything else white so this is the end product I don't hate it at all I actually don't even mind the whole thing white. I thought I would really be kind of put off by everything being white but I'm not that bothered by it but obviously I think we will eventually come back and probably do this at least the steps in black I'm not sure because I know Henry wants to do that and now he also doesn't really want to do the back porch but I'm so happy with how this turned out and since all the wood is so weathered and looks so old and like it needs to be replaced I really want to paint the back porch I actually just ran out of memory I had to delete some things off the phone or off the camera card so um, but what I was saying is Henry isn't sure he wants to do the back porch but I'm so happy with how the front porch turned out and since all the wood looks so old and weathered and like it needs to be replaced like it's almost rotting I really kind of am inspired 
to want to do the front porch, the back porch even more. So I don't know. I just got to wait on the paint to cure and really hope that the weather cooperates with me here. Cure the paint and then I can start putting all my decor back out and I'm so excited for that. So let's wait and see when all the paint is dry and all the decorative pieces are put out. So this is how the porch is coming along so far. I just got my wreath in that I ordered from Joanne. It was just delivered. So I cleaned the door and hung it up. And there is my welcome sign that I made over the weekend. My little birdhouse that Ryan made me when he was in school. I'm still waiting on a few pieces. I have some things from Target that are on the way to finish up and I have my little um, farmhouse buckets. I'm going to go this weekend and get me some potting soil and some plants to fix up my planters and the porch will be all done. Eventually we will be coming back to do the, the black paint over the stairs but I'm almost finished with my summer front porch makeover okay so this is the end result of our front porch makeover we have our little fern hanging baskets hanging under the high uh, floor of the porch our little flower garden that we put in that's very dried out and all this fresh new white paint so I'm going to take you up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so what we have up here is one of the two little uh, galvanized metal buckets that I got at the Dollar General. They were only $3.00. And Henry and I are going to get some stuff to plant them. Uh, we're going to plant some flowers in them. But I have been sick with pneumonia for about three weeks. And then because of being sick with pneumonia, I had to wait a week and a half for a COVID test to come back. And so we haven't really had the chance to go out to get um, some plants or the stain because Henry still wants to stain the uh, the floor port the porch floor and the steps with the dark black stain and we haven't had a chance to go get any of that so this is just some little plants I got from the Dollar Tree just to kind of fill it in and see what it would look like with some plants just to keep it from looking like an empty bucket sitting here and that is my um, the buffalo plaid rug I got from Target and then just the little flag, uh, the little small rug with the wreath on it and the welcome sign. I actually got that at the Dollar General. On the door is my wreath that I got from Joanne Fabrics. They were actually having a 75% off sale and this was a $60 wreath and I got it for $14.99. Right here, we have our DIY welcome sign, and this was just a $3 piece of wood from Lowe's. Yeah, it was Lowe's. We had the white paint here in our craft supplies, and we had the dark stain, so Henry stained the wood, and I went and bought a stencil kit, and was only, I think, maybe 4 or $5 at Hobby Lobby and got a stencil brush so we have our DIY welcome sign for under 10 bucks or at least about 10 bucks so so we're really proud of how that turned out here in this corner I have these little candle holders that I got from Target and I have some big pillar candles to go in them, but it looks like it's going to 
trying to rain. See up there? It looks like it's about to rain, so I don't leave the candles out when it's raining because my porch doesn't have a cover. So a lot of the candles and different things we have to take in when the weather is bad. So, but I have four of those, and I have one in each corner on the porch. There we go. And then I have two on the top steps as well as the other bucket from the Dollar General. So it looks like a leaf is blown down. But I'm going to go back down the steps and then I'm going to show you what it looks like from down there. But yeah, so we're going to have some, some little plants here on one side of the door. Our little candle holders, a little planter on the steps, and then our homemade DIY welcome sign and our gorgeous wreath from Joanne. So overall, we are very proud of how this turned out. Um, this white is extremely stark and when you come out here in the daylight, when the sun's out, it is, it'll absolutely hurt your eyes and give you a headache. So that's why Henry is definitely wanting to proceed with staining this the steps and the porch floor dark and i am in agreement with him about that <laughs> 